Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit of a mixed bits and pieces video. I took this footage over the Easter break and we've got two new additions to our house which I did mention in I think my Kmart haul but I didn't let you know what they were. So today's video has got a little bit of that in there and a little bit of garden updates, just a little bit of everything today. So I really do hope you enjoy today's video and let's get into it. Well, this is the excitement. We just picked up the two new guinea pigs. They are so gorgeous. This was my son's eighth birthday present. He is so excited. So at the moment, at the time being, one is named Lucky and that's the long-haired male. And the other one, the short-haired one, is called Cinnamon. So they do have one each um, because you have to sort of buy them as a pair because they, you know, they have to be together, otherwise they fret. So we're really excited. We're just sort of getting their pen together and all that sort of thing. But we did have to get some things. We've got this huge like thing of pine shavings is which they sleep in. We got lots of food. We got lots of like hay things that they nibble on um, and water bottles. There's just so much going on with these guinea pigs, but we're so excited to have them. We're very excited to have a knock on the door on Tuesday, Easter Tuesday, um, as it was my husband's birthday on Sunday and his work always sends him a gift on his birthday. So it came on Tuesday and it was Uber Eats and I was so excited and it looks like it's something from the cheesecake shop. How beautiful and it definitely does look yum yum from here. So um, I had to wait till my husband was finished work to show him what he got. So basically this is like a taste test box of different things they like sell at the cheesecake shop, which is such a good gift for someone. It's got so much different variety in it. And when I open it, I'll show you, but the kids were really hovering around and everyone wanted some of it. Ooh, oh, it's a sample pack. Oh, what's on? I've got to do it on the chocolate. No. I want the chocolate. You can't have strawberry with cherries on top. Oh, I want the my. chocolate. What's it got in there? Too bad. Got some mud cake. That's a mud cake. No, that's a more mud cake. No, that's a fudge cake, cup. Then. That's a fudge cup. Look at these lollipops. Mm. Oh, it's cake pops. They're cake pops. Mmm. Oh, good. So as you can see, the kids were super excited and wanted to eat the whole box themselves. So we pretty much just had a bit of each to start with. There's like a baked cheesecake slice in there as well. And everything just tasted absolutely beautiful. This would be a great gift for Mother's Day or Father's Day or birthdays. And the fudge was divine with the strawberries. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the garden, seeing I haven't shown you around for a while, but everything is really growing well. As you can see, all my lemon trees, these two lemon trees at the end here are doing so well. Um, uh, the one in the middle there, the, the bigger one, is just so full of juice. The lemons are huge. This one here that I'm showing you, um, this little one here is a, a little... Um, mandarin tree from Aldi and we've got our avocado trees this one isn't doing as well as what we thought but it's getting better so I'm not sure you know I think it might be the roots on the avocado trees are going down to like 
salt water level. I'm not sure. Um, but the other one sort of, sort of looks like the leaves are dying off a little bit. So if you know anything about avocado trees, please comment below and help me out because we've been doing everything we can and it is growing really, really well. Apparently you do need the A and B for them to grow. So that's what they are. We do have two of them, like two avocado trees. But um, yeah, we're just hoping that they don't die. It was a gift from our neighbor and we absolutely love it. But, um, you know, we're new to avocado trees and we don't know much about them. But that one has definitely come back considering what it was like. And, um, yeah, so really happy with our citrus trees at the moment. They're like blooming. It's hard to sort of see, but this one here has got more of a woody sort of a lemon on it. Um, I can't remember. I don't know if that, that one's a Lisbon one, but um, yeah. And we haven't got our garden established yet, so we are going to go and get a heap of soil from our local um, nursery soon. We get like a trailer load, but we have got things growing in here. Derek's been like just planting some things just to keep it established like marigolds. Um, we've got a tomato tree that we just found a little plant of a tomato in the middle of our backyard. So Derek planted that and that's growing really well. It's actually got tomatoes all over it now. Um, and basically, yeah, and that's like our little orange tree there. So really happy with the with the citrus trees and we're looking forward to starting up the garden again. So I just want to show you how big our palm trees are. They are gigantic and we have so many of these in our backyard. I spoke to the tree lopper about it and um, they said they're all really good. Don't need to chop any down. They're safe, but they are just so beautiful. And without these trees, I think, I don't know, it just it just makes me feel good when we walk outside and we can sit under these beautiful palm trees. This is just only two of them. It goes, it surrounds the whole back of the house, the amount of pine tree, the palm trees that I've got, that we've got. It is a lot of work going to the tip and things, but as you can see, there's just so many there. And I just love the way they just give you this natural shade and it has helped us so much over some of these beautiful big palm trees. And it's just the nature and the natural beauty of it. It just looks absolutely beautiful against the blue sky today here as well. Other than that, I will show you our passion fruit vine, which is doing so well. It's, um, it's just growing crazy. My mum like planted these from like a little passion fruit seed from a passion fruit. And she gave them to me a long time ago. You might have seen me talk about that in one of my other vlogs um, last year. But they have just gone crazy. And my husband the other day counted about 100 passion fruits that we are getting on this vine. Um, so they come out with the flower, like the purplish white flower first. And they turn into the passion fruit. And uh, yeah, and so I'm so looking forward to it. You can just put them in the freezer if you get too many of them, you know, and defrost them. But we just love passion fruit and they're so expensive. So I'm just really looking forward to getting a really good crop because the last one just died off, our last passion fruit vine. So we just ended up taking it out and my mum like established this, these ones for us and they've just gone crazy. So they're really healthy, really good spot. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And I also forgot to show you our new pumpkin patch. This is our usual spot for growing pumpkins at the back of the house. We've got like a big garden bed area. And um, we have had some successful pumpkins in the past, but we've just started, or my husband's just started growing these again um, from seeds. So cross our fingers, we'll get some more pumpkins. I think we got about three or four last year and it just got too hot. So I'm hoping that it's the right climate now for it, but we'll, we'll soon find out. It's always exciting to see something grow anyway. And we've still got our frangipani trees hanging in the corner. I'm thinking I might move these um, and do something with this part here because they're just not growing as much as what I thought they would have. Playing songs on my guitar I know I have to be somewhere else To be able to find myself Shouldn't be so complicated If I listen to my heart I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start over new Yeah, I'm on my way now Thursday, first week of school holidays, and I'm just cooking the kids some chicken nuggets. Oh, some chicken nuggets, and I'm cooking these spinach and I think they're spinach and feta sausage rolls from Coles. They're really nice, so I've just put them in for myself and my husband, and the kids are going to have um, chicken nuggets with mayonnaise for lunch with some oranges cut up, maybe later as well. So they're just sort of grazing a fair bit lately because it's um, school holidays. 
So we've got that. It's Thursday afternoon. I'm going to get out of the um, uh, afternoon a lot easier today. I'm going to make some butter popcorn for the kids and we're going to put the movie on Wish. And I've downloaded um, Disney Plus last night. We actually watched Wish. It was so good. But we watched it on a smaller TV. Um, but I really want to watch it on our big TV. It just gives it a better a cinema experience. So I've, I've done a lot of housework and things this morning. So I just want to have an easy afternoon and just put a movie on. I think that's the best when you're really tired with kids. Just put a movie on and maybe a bag of chips or something like that. Thanks everyone for watching today's video. And I'll see you soon for my next ones.